Guy with Marine Max St. Pete, Yacht Service Center. This is Jim Stro, owner and captain of this vessel. Good Jim. morning, Guy. Good morning. We're here to demonstrate the ease of use of the yacht controller, which in this application will control your, both of your engines, forward and back, as well as bow thruster and stern thruster. Now, this piece of equipment is really a peace of mind when it comes to docking, approaching the dock, and relieving some of the stress associated with that. This unit will work all around the vessel so you can actually get your bow line from the bow or actually jump on the dock, get your line tied up and like I said makes it really really easy. We're going to break this demonstration up into a couple different frames today. First of all we're going to show you the undocking and then we're going to bring the boat back in from several different angles, all with the same idea of touching the dock as gently as we can, lining it up in position with the cleats so the lines are ready to go. Lastly, I'm going to take the vessel into a very tight spot, something I would never do in a practical sense and leave my vessel there, but you're going to see I'm going to be backing into a marina that's really designed for a 30-foot vessel. This is almost a 60-foot vessel, and I'm going to put it in there straight down the pipes as if there was nothing in my way at all. Depending on your experience, docking your vessel may be a stressful or unstressful situation. Regardless, the yacht controller takes a lot of the stress out of it. Why is that? Because simply you're at the helm and you're at the dock at the same time. It's like being in two places. Therefore, to grab a line, you may be a little bit short. Simply pressing the gear up just a little bit, nudge the vessel up, puts you in position to put that line on the cleat and move along down the docking process as I'm about to show you. Under most applications, you'll probably be captaining your vessel with the yacht controller from the cockpit area or the stern area. But there are occasions where maybe looking over from the bow may be more advantageous. So let me demonstrate that to you as well. As you saw, bringing it in from the bow was just as stressless as bringing it in from the cockpit. It gave me good visibility over the bow, good visibility of the dock, good visibility of anybody or any traffic coming from the port or the starboard side. It was just as easy and as stressless and as relaxed as driving it from the cockpit area. Let me show you a maneuver into a very tight location. This location is only equipped for a 30-foot vessel. This is nearly a 60-foot vessel. So I'm going to take it down the aisleway between two rows of slips, and I'm going to dock it into, the, into this slip as if it were where the boat would uh, permanently reside. It's going to be tight, but what I want to emphasize is I have complete control over both the transmissions and the thrusters as well as I'm getting a very good vantage point from the cockpit area 
while looking down each side of the vessel and watching the bow area as I dock. Besides showing you either leaving the dock or coming to the dock, it's also important to know that you can use the yacht controller for small adjustments, maybe lengthen a line or add a fender, remove a fender, whatever that be. As long as this thing is engaged, you have complete control of the vessel and move it. Why strain yourself with pushing the vessel? Why strain yourself with trying to pull it like many people have to do? Let your engines and let your, uh, your thrusters do the work for you. Let me show you. I hope today's demonstration was useful for you. One thing I want to emphasize, the yacht controller is more than a toy. I presented my actual real life problem to Guy here at Marine Max when I was complaining that strong sea breezes were really making it difficult for me to dock and he, he suggested that I investigate and ultimately purchase the yacht controller which has ultimately solved that problem. So as much as you can regard it as a pretty slick toy, it has become, as Guy said, my second mate during most docking situations, especially when I'm by myself. It's completely useful. So thank you for this opportunity today, Guy. Jim, I enjoyed it very pleasure. much. Thank you for your business. Hope the demonstration was helpful. And that's the Yacht Controller. To move if you're moving to a different brand or a different engine package or what have you, but you can just take that brain box. I was into it too. <laughs> that was actually the best one. Okay, so I'll go get rid of the bird. <laughs> it started being the outfit. Okay. <laughs> Give me a tit. <laughs> the noise. That was that was very dramatic noise too out of the bird. That's funny, actually.